Welcome to the High Spirit Travel Vlog. In this video, we are going to show you Osu Accra, particularly the Oxford Street area. This is the place we stayed during our trip to Ghana. We wanted to be in the center of all the action. Um, when we first arrived, we were overwhelmed with how busy the area actually is. Um, it really was a part of Accra that never sleeps. It's bustling with so much life and youthful energy. Oxford Street is where the majority of the lively activity is. There are a lot of bars, clubs, restaurants, all within walking distance. And it was nice to know that all these places were easily accessible to us. Oxford Street is a very commercial part of town. Plus, on the flip side, there are many places to purchase cultural arts and craft and fashion um, created by the actual artists and designers. And furthermore, you'll find that there are many street traders who will approach you to buy their products, which is cool. They're very relentless, though, in trying to get you to buy something. If you want, you can take part in the fun of negotiating prices or you can simply de decline. It's totally up to you. Another thing to mention is that it's a location where you will find a lot of tourists visiting and exploring. Also, you'll find that there are a number of Ghanaian locals. It's just a great mix of tourists and Ghanaian locals, which makes this part of town very vibrant and lively. As you can see, in this part of town, there's a lot of traffic. So if you have anywhere to be on time, make sure you catch an Uber ahead of time because the traffic in Accra, particularly in the Oxford Street area, is crazy. In Oxford Street, you get a real sense of the real Accra due to the constant activity. You can really soak up the vibrant atmosphere of the place. During our exploration of Oxford Street, we were approached by this artist that makes bracelets and weaves your name into the bracelet. Entirely personalized. It was entirely handmade and the crazy thing is that he made the bracelet right in front of me. It was actually spectacular to watch such skill and mastery happen right before my eyes. I think we were so used to things being mass produced by big machines and not actually seeing the process of where our products come from. But this was an experience on its own, seeing the whole process of something valuable being created from scratch. He was a pretty cool guy and a friendly guy, so I had to support his work and purchase some bracelets from him. If you guys watching this are going to Accra soon, definitely visit Oxford Street in Osu and you might see this guy. And he may also make you a personalized bracelet as well. It's just amazing to see the immense creativity that is in Africa. There was another store that caught our eye. They sold a lot of kente cloth items such as bags, t-shirts and other general accessories. The colors really popped out to us and it actually made you pay attention. We stopped by and made a few purchases. The great thing about being on Oxford Street is that you're given the opportunity to support local small businesses. I managed to get a few gifts for some friends and family. So if you visit Accra, Ghana, make sure to walk and explore as much as you can of Oxford Street. You'll definitely find some gems. While we were walking on Oxford Street, we saw Urbano Hotel. It's a top hotel located on Oxford Street and provides amazing hospitality. They have the I love Accra sign where you can come and take pictures. The pictures we took were definitely Instagram worthy. If you're looking for a hotel to stay in the Oxford Street area, definitely stay at Urbano Hotel. There are very few countries I visit where I fall in love with it the first time I visit. I have to say when I visited Ghana, I honestly fell in love with the place, the people, the food, everything. It is definitely a place worth going, especially if it's your first time visiting the African continent. Visit Ghana and it will give you a nice cultural introduction to the continent. Also, one of the perks about staying in Oxford Street was the fact that there was a shop right. Oh my gosh, shop right was much needed. ShopRite is essentially equivalent to Asda or Tesco in the UK or Walmart in the States. And it was nice to know that we could just pop into ShopRite, get a few bits and bobs, drinks, snacks, and if we got peckish 
pretty late in the evening or when we we're about to go out so it was so convenient to have a shop right very close to where we were staying as soon as we had finished exploring oxford street we got an invite from our friend to check out the daily paper and WizKid collaboration party the event was held at messino in Leboni. we thought you know what why not and we just jumped in the uber to go when we arrived at the venue the party had already started and we just thought you know what let's just get involved during this event i had some new music and also met some really really cool people the the energy was fun and youthful during a time in ghana there was literally different parties every single day we were always spoke for choice on which event to go that's the thing about going to africa or nigeria or ghana in december there are there is so much happening every single day the event is literally just a snippet of what dominated the entire trip the trip was literally one big party we did have a great time at the event and it was a fantastic day of exploration and good vibes we have some more videos coming up about our trip to ghana so stay tuned and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like this video see you guys later take care